Hello, my name is Tyler Ballou from Yokogawa, and today I will be showing you how to wire up a pH sensor to the new Flexa 402. So if you open up the Flexa 402, you will first, as you can see here, you feed the pH sensor wires through the bottom holes that are open. I have it feeding through the middle, but you can choose whichever one you Whichever one fits, you could use the left or the back ones even. And so I'm just going to kind of go through and show you where each wire goes. All right, and now here, in order to save you some time, I showed you the final wiring configuration. So just a quick run through. You're going to have the red on 11, blue on 12, and then the same wire, the white wire, the large end on 16, and the smaller end on 14. And for the brown wire, you're going to have the large end on 15 and the smaller end on 13. In addition, we like to kind of tie off the yellow and green wires as they are not going to be needed in this application. And then now I'm going to power it up and show you that it works. All right, I've now powered on the Flexa. And as you can see, the second module slot has the pH reading in as this sensor was correctly wired. And as you can see earlier, there is no device in the first module, which is why it is showing a error there and the screen is blinking, but otherwise this was a successful installation. That is all and thank you and have a pleasant day.